we were one of the first bands on uh, we were on Gran Turismo which was a f one of the first games to use music that was um, you know full band tracks work. yeah it wasn't all you know like 8 bit kind of music or any, even like um, it actually gives it a really great time because 1977 had been really successful and Nuclear Sounds commercially kind of like was a bit of a downturn and we we made this sort of documentary movie and paid for a, a camera crew to like follow us for like 18 months almost like, and we spent like pretty much all of the royalties from 1977 on this movie which we then never released so we were kind of skint but in that year Gran Turismo the royalties from that kept kept us going it was really kind of lucky yeah we seem to be pretty good on driving games there's one called Burnout 3 we, we had a track on and uh, it was uh yeah, definitely high speed driving games. Our music works quite well yeah. with that. Thank and God for sync fees. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Thank God for sync fees. I mean, we did um, a Star Wars one as well. We did a, a yes, I yeah. There was like Republic, um, Commando. Republic Commando, so we had a track called Clones, that, and that was one of the first times they'd used music that was kind of outside their franchise music. I think it was the first time they used music that wasn't John Williams. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show and the best music. Virgin Radio.